Well, there's a new report that says a few foods might be fitting for your Valentine's Day menu. They could help put a little romance in your life. Get out the pen and paper. <laughs> Joining us to share the latest list is let ooh. Why can't I ever say her name anymore? It's so tough because it's, Liz, it's so long. Liz Bonus. Well, it's medical reporter Liz Bonus with today's health alert. Liz. Uh, I'll answer just about anything. Sure. Thanks, guys. There is some thought that any food you think might help the romance in your life really can. But certain ones seem to be referred to as those aphrodisiacs or love potions, so to speak. Well, this new report says even if that's not true, they do have a lot of other really good things in them for you. So this Valentine's Day, here's a few to add to your latest list. Oysters make the list. Dietitians at University Hospital's Case Medical Center that supplied this video say Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love, rose from the sea on an oyster. That's how oysters became associated with aphrodisiacs. They do contain a few things, though, that might help enhance romance, such as amino acids. Amino acids can increase the production of hormones such as estrogen and testosterone. Strawberries are next. They are packed with vitamin C for healthy skin. They also are considered a fertility enhancing food. Olive oil is next. Ancient Greeks said it would enhance men's virility, but it also contains good fats the body needs. Finally, honey makes the list. The term honeymoon comes from a drink that was made with honey and alcohol. It was traditionally given to newlyweds. Honey also has antibacterial properties, however, and is a tasty sweetener. Okay, and speaking of sweet, chocolate, of course, makes the list of aphrodisiacs for dessert. It does have several compounds in it, good for the body, especially if you like the dark kind. This is the milk kind. But it also may have mood-altering capabilities that work on certain things like your brain. Tryptophan relaxes you. Serotonin makes you happy. All this supposedly coming from chocolate. I oh. went to an all-day conference once on chocolate. Wow. I was in heaven. And they said that uh, if you ate enough of it, chocolate would give you after effects to a similar feeling of after you smoke marijuana. Really? Yes. <laughs> you had to eat 70 pounds, though, a day to get that I effect. I could do that. <laughs> I had that thought. Great, I'll start early. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, they just think it's probably okay. something that we all love and we associate yeah. it with feeling good. Uh, so somebody gives you chocolate. It makes me happy. Yeah, they I dig you. I'm hanging on to this That's one, That's better chocolate than I know you gave us yesterday. yesterday. But if I get lucky enough to get a Valentine's date, I'm keeping this. Yeah, yeah. Work on <laughs> yeah. that. What's coming up? All right, coming up in our next hour we got a, a couple of really interesting headlines on you but a mom who had triplets that may be one in 200 million that's how rare they are well it's a lottery night isn't it <laughs> yes i thought about that she should play <laughs> thanks yeah. very much